Hi, welcome back to my channel and thank you to all of my new subscribers. Honestly means the world. Now onto this week's video, I am gonna be showing you my nude lipstick collection. I didn't realize how many nude lipsticks I've got. I mean, I've got a bit of a problem. There's a lot in my drawer. Also, I'm not sure if many people know, I always put the links below to the products in my videos in the description box. So if you do want to check any of the lipsticks out that I do mention, then all the links will be below. If you caught my last video, then I am gonna be doing a lot more videos now. They're gonna be popping up here, there and everywhere. So subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with this video. I feel like I'm really close to the camera, but I want you to be able to see the lip colors properly. So I'm just gonna go with it. The first thing I wanna show you is my favorite lip liners. My favorite budget lip liner is the Barry M1. It's so good value for money. I love this one. Then I've got the Rodeal XXL lip liner. Now this is a really good lip liner. It is a little bit pricey, but if you wanna try something new, I would recommend it. It's got lip plumping complex in the formula, so it does help to plump your lips. And then my new favorite is this La Masca one. This shade just literally goes with everything. It's such a nice pencil. The color's called Woo, and I've been using this loan. I don't know when that light come on behind me. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply my Illamasqua one first, just to line my lip. I mean, you can see how good this pencil is. I'd really recommend it. Now onto lipsticks, there are a lot of lipsticks for me to go through. I am gonna start from light to dark. So I am gonna take this one first. This is a Makeup Revolution lipstick. The shade is called You Are Beautiful and it's a really pale nude. Also, it's £2.50. I'm gonna apply this one now. As you can see, it's a really creamy lipstick and it's very, very nude. This is the lightest nude I ever go for. It does feel really creamy on the lips. It's a very moisturizing formula. I think for £2.50, if you're gonna try a new nude lipstick, then this is a great choice. Now on to Rimmel Cake Moss. I love these lipsticks. This is the number 43 shade. It's quite a sheer formula. It doesn't go on too thickly, so I do like to build up my color. This lipstick has got more of an orangey peachy undertone to it, which I think is really nice because it does warm up your skin tone and complexion. Now onto the Olivia Palomo collaboration with Ciate. I mean, this packaging of this lipstick is so gorgeous. And you've got the OP engraved in the lipstick bullet there, which I think is such a nice touch. So this is the truffle shade and I'll apply it now for you to see. So this is even more of a, a peachy nude, which I think I tend to like, because I think a lot of my lipsticks are gonna have this kind of warm undertone to them. But again, the formula is just so silky. It's such a nice feeling on the lips. It doesn't feel like you've got a heavy lipstick on at all, and it's really not dry either. It's a really moisturizing lipstick. I just wanted to quickly show you as well before I start on another lipstick. This is just the Illamasqua lip pencil on its own, the Woo shade. How beautiful is it? So if you just pop a little bit of lip balm on top, it's just such a lovely shade. This one, I mean, that's how much is left. That's how much I've used it. This is the Maybelline Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil and the shade is Nude Perfection. I have had this for forever. I done my big lips video, God, I don't know how long ago, literally, must be about a year and a half ago, and this was my favorite pencil that I included in that video. That is such a good pencil. 
it's really chubby so you can really like overdraw if you want to to make your lips just look a little bit bigger also it smells really nice as well I mean that has got to be one of the perfect nude shades ever. Also, I think a lot of people would think that a chunky lip pencil like this would be too dry to the lips to wear as a lipstick, but it's really not. It feels really moisturising on the lips and I love this one. Next is this collection Work The Colour Lip Butter in Cappuccino. The only thing I would say is that the kind of Balm melts a little bit, it kind of goes into itself, but it is a really good value for money nude lipstick and it's again really moisturising on the lips, it's not drying and it feels so nice. So I'm just going to pop that on. I think also these lip butters are really handy if you're in a rush because they're really easy to apply. So if you're getting a nude lipstick because you just like to put on your lipstick quickly before you head out the door or putting it on in the back of a cab, this one is a really good option. I mean, you can see how it's more of like a silky texture. It probably looks quite glossy, which it is, but it doesn't feel like a sticky gloss. It's more like a buttery type texture. Next is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet. This is in the shade Cool Brown and it's kind of like a wand applicator. I don't know how to describe this except from saying velvet. You will see when it's on, it's quite matte when it dries. It's more just like a, a tint to the lip. And it feels really light on the lips. It doesn't feel like you've got anything on. I think this is a really nice everyday lipstick. If you want to go for a really natural look, this is the one. Now for my all time favourite nude. If there's one nude that I'd say go out and get, it's this one. I have run out of this I think three times now, that's how much I use it. This is the L'Oreal Colour Riche in Beige and Nude. I've put this in so many of my videos, it's just the perfect nude. I mean, L'Oreal Colourish lipsticks are hands down my favourite lipsticks ever. The formulas are incredible. They're such a beautiful formula. They last for ages. They don't crease, they don't smudge. Amazing. So if you want me to do a haul video on my L'Oreal Colourish collection, then let me know in the comments below. So this is Beige Anu. This is a staple in my makeup bag. Now the Freedom Pro Melts Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Pro Melts Dream. This is quite a thick formula, it's quite intense. Does last for ages though. This is basically like a liquid lipstick is how I describe it. It goes on very thickly, like a lipstick but you've got this handy wand that just packs on the colour. This is a great nude if you're going out because it does last a long time. And also I just think it gives that kind of glam finish with the glossiness. Another L'Oreal Colour Riche that I have just recently discovered, which I love, it's the Colour Riche Matte. And this is number 640 in Erotic. It's so beautiful. It's more of like a, a rosy nude. Got this beautiful matte finish. Also, just to say, I'm not applying these like amazingly. Normally, I'd go round my lips with concealer after to neaten, but there is a lot of lipsticks to go through, so I'm not doing that for all of these. I just think that looks so nice. The shade is just beautiful. Really nice nude with a bit of a rose tint to it. And also the matte finish is just so nice. But the good thing about this lipstick, even though it's matte, that doesn't mean it's going to dry out your lips. It does stay like this the whole time. It doesn't crack and crease. It's a really nice matte lipstick. Now two more to go. This is another one of my absolute favourites. Daniel Sana Lip Gloss. This is the Luxury Gloss in Suede. First thing I love about this lip gloss is that you remember fireballs when you were at school, you used to eat them, they're like these really hot cinnamon sweets. I literally loved them, I was addicted to these cinnamon sweets. And now, 
This lip gloss actually tastes like it, which is just the dream. I mean, I feel like I'm just gonna put some people off now that I've said that, but it is really, really nice. I really like the wand of this as well. It's a really long wand, which I find is great to just quickly whack onto your lips. I love how glossy this gloss is. It's super shiny. The shine that that's got just picks up the light so well and it makes your lips appear bigger. Now for the last one, and I think the most expensive one, but it's a good one. This is the NARS lipstick, and this is in the shade Success. This is a really nice small lipstick, which is really handy for taking on a night out in like a clutch bag, because it doesn't take up too much room. This is about as deep as I go on the spectrum of nude. If you're going for the whole Kylie Jenner brown lip trend, then this is a great one if you don't want to go too dark. All I would say is that this lipstick is a little bit harder to apply just because it's a little bit smaller. So I've got to have a steady hand for this one. I do love the shade. I mean, I don't wear it as much as my lighter nudes just because my nudes go with everything. And I feel like my hair needs to be slicked back for this. My eyes need to be quite minimal or quite autumnal browns. Um, but yeah, I do love this color. So they were my favourite nude lipsticks of all time. Let me know what your favourite was in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, then please, please press the thumbs up button because it would mean loads. Thanks so much for watching. Any video ideas that you want me to do, pop in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Next to